Battlefield 2042 has stepped up in such a way and has some really prime potential to innovate the industry. And if I'm being fair, and this is an absolute fan, absolute fan, I'm like talking cup in the Battlefield balls of the franchise. This is something that they have never been able to do. And it's not because they're not capable to developers. It's because of the long cycle between Battlefields so that when other games set or change the standard or innovate, that Battlefield is generally too far into the development cycle to try to keep up with them. So this is the first time that I can recall since I've been a fan of the franchise in over 10 years that I've ever seen them keep up with the mechanics and the standards of the industry. And for that, I applaud them. Today, we're gonna to be talking about Hazard Zone and why I think it's going to absolutely carry Battlefield 2042 to heights that standard multiplayer alone wouldn't have been able to. This decision was one of the best things they could have possibly done. And I wanna break down why. So, thank you guys for clicking on this video. Thanks for watching. Let's jump into it. The reason I like Hazard Zone, and this is because it is looking to be more of a serious way to play Battlefield, a twist in something they've never ventured into, and I applaud them for this. And the reason for this is their direct competitor is Call of Duty. They put out yearly cycles, and Call of Duty has evolved over the years and create and set many standards and innovated in the industry. What I do know is, I have a lot of friends that buy Call of Duty just for the multiplayer, right? I've got friends that buy it just for the zombies. I got friends that put money into the game just for Warzone. And then I've got friends that do all of them or a combination of two of them, right? It's almost like there are three major ways to play Call of Duty. And some people are fans of each individual one. They're so strong and dominant on their own. People will buy the game strictly for that sub game, if you will. Battlefield has finally stepped into that territory. Not only do they have the base Battlefield experience that we're used to, Conquest, Breakthrough, we also have Battlefield Portal now, which is a tribute to the player base, the long-standing community here. And it's an absolutely innovative idea, and I'm, I'm all for it. We talked about that in a previous video about how I think Portal is going to ensure this game can't flop. If you want to check that video out, it's down in the description below. And then lastly, we have this new game type, which is still under wraps. It's called Hazard Zone. Now, speculation for months now has been that Hazard Zone is going to be a battle royale. It's not. But to be fair, what it's going to be like is actually not that far off. These competitive game types like Escape from Tarkov, Hunt Showdown, one of my personal favorites, and even a little bit more like Survival from The Division, for those that are familiar with that, that is kind of what to expect out of Hazard Zone. It's going to be one of those you drop in, you supply up, you complete missions, you extract and you do it while surviving and fighting other people. This is a huge reason for why I think we're gonna be dealing with the bot situation in multiplayer. I know that's been a hot topic for a lot of people. Why are there bots auto-filling when people aren't in the... It's because they've probably already made them for something like Hazard Zone, and that was my first theory, which is why I never thought we were gonna have a Battle Royale, and instead we were gonna have a PvPvE situation. I just didn't see them building in a proper bot system in this game for just auto filling slots when the server's a little low. I didn't see them going through that kind of intricate detail for it. So that's what I think we're getting. I could be wrong, but time will tell. Now, as a personal fan of Hunt Showdown, for those that have never seen the game, I absolutely love the game. I consider it one of the most competitive and innovative games that we've had in the last 10 years. It adds intensity, it adds teamwork, you have to have map knowledge, and it adds all that seriousness that Battlefield has lacked for a long time. Not that the game can't be sweaty, not that the game can't be competitive, but there is a major draw to Battle Royales, Escape from Tarkovs, all of these games because of the consequences, what's on the line, and how high of a skill ceiling these game types have to offer. And with Hazard Zone, Battlefield is stepping into that threshold, not in the traditional Battle Royale way, but in something a bit more serious, which I think really is the right call for Battlefield. I would have loved to have seen a Battle Royale personally because, I mean, who better than the developments that have covered large maps, design, and vehicles? I, I would love to see a proper developed modern Battlefield Battle Royale, but I think this was the right call for them because there is a large amount of people that are disappointed with the Battle Royale scene and just completely stay away from them, but growing popularity in games like Hunt and Escape from Tarkov. So hopefully this is built around those image with the own Battlefield flair, and we're all gonna be happy, satisfied customers. But again, major applause for them to have basically three different ways to play Battlefield. And the reason I think Hazard Zone will carry Battlefield is because of the popularity of those game types. 
Battle Royales dominate the space. Fan or not of them, you cannot ignore the fact that they bring in more revenue and more popularity and put eyes on a game like, unlike it, right? Look what Warzone and Blackout did for Call of Duty. Look at what Fortnite and so many BRs have done before. It's honestly a very dominant space. So even if you're not a fan of Hazard Zone yourself, and it does play out like we believe it, it's still going to attract a massive crowd, which is going to bring a fan and an influx of players not only to Hazard Zone, but get them interested in the multiplayer experience. This is kind of a boost to the Battlefield franchise, that it desperately needed. For many years, I felt like it was trying to accommodate casual elements like with Battlefield 1. So many elements in that game seem to be more for casual players to attract the Call of Duty fan base and try to bring in new people. And I think now they said, screw that. Let's embrace our teamwork. Let's embrace our seriousness and turn this into something magnificent. And I think that's what they've done. And I couldn't be more happy with how this turned out. I will not be surprised. And this is how how big of a deal Hunt Showdown was to me, that as an absolute diehard fan of the Battlefield franchise, I would not be surprised to see something like Hazard Zone come in and dominate and honestly dwarf the multiplayer. I, I feel like there's a lot more attention and popularity behind Warzone than there is the multiplayer Call of Duty experience. I would not be surprised if Hazard Zone was executed properly, that it'll be the most popular part of Battlefield. It, it, 10, 20 times the player activity than standard multiplayer. If it's done right, that wouldn't surprise me. I wouldn't be surprised if the Twitch directory, you know, the top 50 people playing were all people playing Hazard Zone. This is a reality, and it's not a, it's not a bad thing, right? It's not a slight or a dig towards multiplayer. It's just there's just so many people that look for that kind of thing. That is what's in right now. So I wouldn't be surprised that if it's done properly, Hazard Zone will be able to bring Battlefield and expedite its popularity and player activity to levels that Battlefield would have just never been capable of doing by itself with standard traditional multiplayer. This was an absolutely major call on the development side. They made the right thing. They did something incredible with Portal, and now they've built a sub-game within their game to keep up with their competitors. And they've made an absolutely badass idea. And they're trying to, try to put their little twist on it. And... Yo, this is bold for Battlefield. Battlefield has never tried to innovate or expand at this level before. And that gives me hope. There's room for error. Obviously, that's a, that's a big bite to take. But I'm still very excited to see what Hazard can be. I wouldn't be surprised if I become like a Hazard Zone main. Not that I won't play multiplayer. But if it's anything like those other games, I feel like the addiction could be very, very strong. But that's my theory. What do I know? I'm just a balding gamer, okay? So you guys know that I love and appreciate you. Thanks for being here. Subscribe and take that bell if you want more 2042 content. We're going to have lots of live gameplay, bunch of Hazard Zone coverage, and we'll be doing a lot of it with you guys. If you haven't swung by the live stream, twitch.tv slash Star. We'll get some games in sometime. Playing a lot of Battlefield 4 right now, leading up to 2042, and you're all welcome to join us. Thanks again, guys. Have a good one.